Hey, what's up? This is Goody with a new video for hunting places for paladins. This time, I'm going to show you where to get some of the best experience as a paladin while hunting dragon lords. Both of the spawns that I will show you on this video are fairly popular, however, that's not gonna stop me from sharing them even more. The first spawn is in Fenrock, for which you need to do some quick missions to get access and in order to activate the wagon to the camp. After that, just follow the instructions on the wiki page here and you'll get to the spawn. Make sure to bring a golden mug every time because you need it to give it as a payment to the NPC to get teleported to the spawn. With that, you will be at the spawn and once here, it's fairly easy to hunt because the cave is small and the most you can lure at a time is two dragon lords and maybe a few hatchlings. Either way, you choose to follow gives the same result. I personally prefer hunting counterclockwise. The only way to increase your experience and improve your hunts while hunting dragon lords is efficiency, which is something that I haven't talked about in my previous videos, but it's very important to start getting used to at a ranked level, especially if you're looking for experience, which should be the case if you're hunting dragon lords, as they're pretty bad for profits. So the first thing that you want to do if you need experience is to stop looting the gold, which is obviously something that I never did because I am all about the profit. So even if you loot the gold, you can still get decent experience as long as you're fast about it and you're efficient. But the most important thing to start mastering is your downtime between monsters. It doesn't matter which spot you're hunting, if you get good at this, the experience on every spot will increase. And I know it sounds simple, because it is. Basically what you gotta do is every time a creature is hitting yellow close to red HP, you should already be walking towards the next creature and when the first one dies, you already have the next target on your screen. This is the most important thing to realize when trying to PG as a paladin, and this can be applied to almost every spawn at any level. The only thing that matters is that you have enough HP to kite two monsters at the same time for a brief period of time. Moving on to the other spawn, this one is located on the way to the Pits of Infernal quest and it's pretty much called the POI Dragon Lords. It doesn't matter if you have never been here for the POI quest because you can still get to the spawn anyways. To access the spawn you will need a vial of blood, for this you can get any vial from the Edron mana shop, empty it and then collect the blood from any monsters on the way to POI, like walls or minotaurs. You should also bring a vial of oil, because sometimes it's necessary to fix the ladder on the bridge. And lastly, you're going to need a pick and a holy table. The chest for the holy table is also located in POH, so that one you can just get on your way there. Just make sure to hold on to it, as you will need it every time you come to the spawn. Once you have all these items, just follow these instructions. Now that you're past the bridge, this is where it can be hard for lower levels, since as soon as you go down either of the holes, the chances of luring 3 dragon lords is pretty high. Back in the days, it used to be a lot easier when you could just drop up the Dragon Lords one by one, but since that's not a thing anymore, the only way is to kite them, which is obviously can be risky for lower levels, so be careful and if you somehow lure just one, it's better to tank it on melee range to avoid luring the others. After you clear the entrance, just keep kiting from each room and you will be fine. Usually the spawn is fast enough so you don't bother going to the north side of the cave unless you're clearing too fast. And it's not because the north caves are hard or anything like that, it's just that there's a lot more walking involved so it will most likely decrease your experience. But going back to the efficiency I was talking about earlier, I'm obviously not doing a good job in this recording and it's because I wasn't really thinking about it back then. This was also the recording of my first hunt here and since I felt like I was a bit too low level for this spawn, I was just trying to play it safe. As I got used to the spawn, I started to lure more and become more efficient with my time, so there will always be room for improving your hunts, keep that in mind. For the supplies, you will need about 1k arrows for 1 hour hunts and if you have mana leash tier 1 on both weapon and helmet, usually 70 strong mana potions is more than enough for each hunt. As for the experience, if you're still looting the gold while being a bit more efficient, you should make close to 400k on yellow and 600k on green. But if you're looting the gold like I am, you probably won't go past 40 minutes before running out of cap, so keep that in mind. If you only loot the rares and focus on the experience alone, you could be making 500k on yellow and 750 on green while being under level 120. In the end, all of it comes down to efficiency and how high your skills are, so keep pushing yourself to test it out. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful and see you next time. As a bonus, here is a recording of me doing the Firewalker's Boots quest. This quest is located in the Fenrock spawn and at the time, I didn't know that the level requirement for the boots was level 130. You can do the quest at any level, but it might not be worth the risk of dying for an item that in the end you cannot use.